So you clicked on a video about Star Citizen, which means that you want to start playing the game, or at the very least, just interested in learning more. There is also a chance you have a crippling addiction to the game, like myself, or maybe you just love my content. Either way, I like you. Today I'm going to give you a brief history of the game and all the reasons why I think you should play. And for those of you out there who decide to jump into the verse, I'll give you the top 10 things you should do as soon as you roll out of bed. I will also be addressing the critics with extreme prejudice. Stick around. Star Citizen is an ambitious space simulation game in development by Cloud Imperium Games, CIG. It's led by Chris Roberts. He's the creator of the popular Wing Commander series. The game's concept was revealed in 2012 with Roberts aiming to create a space simulation game unlike fans had ever seen before. All set in one of the most immersive environments ever seen. Star Citizen was initially pitched with a Kickstarter campaign in October of 2012. This was followed up by CIG's own crowdfunding platform which continues to raise funds directly from the game's community. And Star Citizen became a record-breaking crowdfunding project raising over $500 million in 2023. The game's vision was to deliver a combo of a persistent universe alongside dynamic multiplayer environments. But Star Citizen wasn't the only game that CIG was developing. Squadron 42, a single-player narrative campaign, was being developed alongside of Star Citizen, boasting Hollywood actors such as Mark Hamill and Gary Oldman. However, development has been plagued with delays and no definite launch date for either Squadron 42 or Star Citizen. And some critics claim that the constant adding of new features and systems into the game are contributing to all the delays. CIG continues to release regular game updates alongside in-game events. Star Citizen is no stranger to critics, many claiming that the crowdfunding methods that CIG uses promotes a pay-to-win environment. Along with that, the delays and the fact that the game is still in alpha testing after 12 years, Star Citizen gets its fair share of critics. And don't worry, I'm going to get to the complaints and the critics, but not right here. I promised y'all a brief history, so here it is. And yes, it's still in alpha testing, and yes, it has its bugs, but honestly, it runs better than most AAA games on release. So if you're still watching and you want to give Star Citizen a try, let me tell you the reasons why I think you should buy the game. Let me first start off by saying that CIG and Star Citizen are not paying me anything to make this video. There's no funding in any way. These opinions are mine and mine alone. However, CIG or Star Citizen, if you're watching, I'm cheap. I mean, a Pisces here, a Valkyrie there, I'm just saying. All jokes aside, I fell in love with the game in early 2016. After reading about the project, after hearing about all the amazing and cool features they had planned to bring into one game, I, I was hooked. Reading about the game, about its features, it was oddly reminiscent to another game that I had fell in love with many years prior called Star Wars Galaxies. And every article that I was seeing was saying that Star Citizen was shaping up to be a game just like Star Wars Galaxies, and then some, you know, minus the lightsabers and the, the Force. Some would argue that Star Wars without lightsabers is just Harry Potter. But you're not going to find a broomstick in Star Citizen. At least I don't I don't think. But they have railguns. Oh my god, I'm getting ahead of myself. Listen, when I first purchased the game, when I first became a backer, when I first pledged, my computer was trash. Like, seriously, it was trash. There was no way it was going to run the game. But I made the pledge because I wanted to see the project grow. I wanted to fund it because I wanted to see this game and see what it could be one day. And I think the same is true for 90% of the Star Citizen community. So before we get into the reasons why you should play this game, understand that you're not buying a game, you are funding a dream, you are funding a project. And you get to play it along the way. One of the main reasons why I love this game so much is the immersion. I could seriously just sit in town for hours and just be lost in just these small details they have put into this game to make it feel so real. From the amazing visuals, to the advertisements for in-game stores, to the ambient noises inside the starports. There's always something new around every corner, something to look at, something to listen to, something to admire. If Star Citizen did one thing excellent, it's attention to detail. Another reason why I love the game so much is its multifaceted gameplay. And what I mean by that is that it has a really great space element, but the ground combat is pretty awesome too. The gunplay mechanics are snappy and responsive, and from someone who really loves Call of Duty, this feels very reminiscent to that. The gun battles are rich and intense, and admittedly the AI is dumb from time to time, but the moment you let your guard down, it, those bullets are unforgiving. There are multiple missions and contracts you can take to engage in ground combat and just ground exploration. And speaking of missions, I mean there's a plethora for you to choose from. Everything from cargo runs, to research missions, to exploration, to ground combat, space combat, and even some shady contracts that you might not want to do and you might end up dead at the end, but the, but the pay is good. However, space, space is where this game excels. The dogfights are intense with edge of your seat excitement, and, and no matter if you're doing fighting or cargo hauling, there's real risk to, to not get blown up. Plus the views in space are unlike anything you've ever seen before in any other game. 
Now I've been told that space is much better when you have a flight stick. Now I, I don't have a flight stick. It is on my Christmas wish list though, but I can tell you that the ships maneuver the way you think they would. If it's a bigger ship, it's a little more sluggish, but those fighters are nimble and fast. Now enough about the reasons why I like the game. I'm about to give you 10 things you need to do when you first start the game. Now I'm going to run through these down and dirty because I've already taken enough of y'all's time. I know some of y'all are just waiting to hear me get petty with the critics. Number one, pick the proper starting home. Do some research, watch some videos. I personally like Microtech, but you pick the best one for you because you can't change it. Number two, get your ass out of bed. I know it sounds stupid, but you're going to have to anyway. I sat there for the first time for like 20 minutes just standing at the top of my bunk. Number three, stop and smell the roses. Now what I mean by that is, is there's so much small detail, so much of that immersion that I told y'all about. Enjoy it, don't just run off to your next mission. You, you can find a lot to do just by hanging out in the city that you're in. Number four, go buy some food and drink. You're gonna need it. Your character's gonna get thirsty and hungry and the last thing you wanna be is in the middle of space and dehydrating. Number five, don't waste all your credits on weapons and armor. Get the barren essentials because one bunker mission and you're gonna have more weapons and armor than you know what to do with. Number six, get you a tractor beam gun. You're gonna need it. I don't care what you're doing. You're gonna need a tractor beam gun. Number seven, when you're done drinking your bottles, just don't just toss them on the ground like a savage. They have trash cans. All of y'all litter way too much. Number eight, learn flight controls. Trust me, good God, learn flight controls. You will crash your ship frequently. Don't auto land either, that, that is cheating. Number nine, enjoy yourself. Use your imagination. There's so much to do in this game without that, but there's so much more to do when you just enjoy it and use your imagination. Trust me. And number 10, and the most important, use this code right here when you sign up for the game because it helps your boy out. He, he wants a javelin and plus it gives you some extra credits to spend. Now onto the point where I know that most of my uh, regular viewers have been waiting for me to get petty with the critics and I'm going to. First complaint I always hear, oh, it's pay to win. You gotta buy all your ships. If you're broke, just say so. Listen, it takes $45 to buy into this game. That's cheaper than most AAA titles. And every single ship and vehicle is buyable in-game with in-game credits. You can buy the most powerful ship in this entire game and you can still suck ass at flying. And a second big complaint that I always hear is it's still an alpha release after 10 plus years. Yes, you are correct, but they're still releasing regular updates, regular content patches, and still working to do something that no other game has ever done before. Things that other developing studios said that was impossible to do. You cannot create the impossible overnight. And I for one respect and commend Star Citizen for the fact that they haven't bowed down to the critics and just rushed a half-assed game just so they can put a released title on it. Another complaint that I hear all the time is that people get mad there's no easy button. Nobody magically unloads your cargo. You have to do that personally yourself. When you engage with Quantum Drive, it takes you a while to get to a planet because it's a one-to-one -one solar system. I for one enjoy that realism. I for one enjoy that level of immersion and many other players do too. If you want a game with easy mode, if you want a game with, with zoning and, and quick travel, I, I hear World of Warcraft is looking for players. Now I'm going to show you my age here, but I remember games like Ultima Online and Star Wars Galaxies that were amazing games, but it just took a few complaining critics for the development studios to bow down to their wishes and create a game that in the end nobody wanted to play. And I'm going to be real candid with y'all. A few hours before recording this segment of the video, I actually watched a recorded live stream of someone who was just, just shitting all over the game. Complaining about features and things in the game that I, for one, and I know hundreds of thousands of other players enjoy. And I'm not going to lie, it left, it left a sour taste in my mouth. If you don't enjoy a game, don't play it. Don't try to ruin it for the hundreds of thousands of people that love it. You see, boys and girls, there are Karens in the video game world, too. And one of the last things he said in the video that I had to turn the damn thing off was that he didn't like where the development of Star Citizen was going. It wasn't where he thought it should be. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? You see, a little fact about me is that I do know a number of program languages. I've made video games, nothing to the scale of Star Citizen, but things take time. Things mess up. Things don't work the way we plan them to work. Those things require testing. Those things require setbacks. And, and we just don't give up on what we wanted to do just because it's hard. If y'all can't tell by now, I'm extremely passionate about this game. I, it feels like a warm bed to me, like, like home. And yeah, I've spent more money on this game than, than I'd be willing to tell y'all right here on the camera. But I don't regret a single dime of it because honestly, I have spent far more on, on far less. But in closing, to all the critics out there who are watching this, and I'm sure y'all are going to, y'all can suck a fart out of my ass, respectfully. 
if you watch this video, you got some enjoyment out of it, and you want to start playing the game again, use this code right here and also go on the RSI website and look for the organization Petty Squad. An organization is a guild if, if you're really brand new to Star Citizen. Request to join our organization. I'll be adding everyone I see in the next two weeks. And again, not to be a broken record, but use the code. It gives you 5,000 credits to use in game and it also helps your boy get a javelin that I'll probably never get. If you want to see me make more videos like this about Star Citizen or any game for that matter, make sure you hit that like button and down in the comments, tell me what you want to see, what you liked about this video, hell, what you didn't like about it. If you want to see more of this bearded face, you can click that subscribe button down there. Make sure you hit the bell to get all my notifications. And I genuinely appreciate y'all watching. I love you beautiful people. Y'all stay petty.